this video about nitric oxide and benefit and anti-aging benefits of nitric oxide so this is a short version of the video and i will upload the longer video also as always i recommend to download uh, the uh, pdf file of the presentation in in the link of the description and uh, so let's go uh, nitric oxide is a colorless uh, ga gas and free radical produced by endothelium cells lining blood vessels uh, and the primary way in response to mechanical stimuli uh, like shear stress and pressure. It serves as a signaling molecule that causes vasodilation, dilation, increased, uh, increasing blood flow and reducing blood pressure. Nitric oxide also enhances gas exchange in the lungs and tissues, particularly during conditions requiring increased oxygen consumption. The endothelium responsible for uh, nitric, oxi nitric oxide production is considered a significant endocrine organ, generating up to 90% of uh, total body uh, uh, nitric oxide. And the uh, nitric oxide synthesized from amino acids L-arginine by the enz enzyme nitric oxide synthase. So we have this endothelium layer, which is uh, very thin, but it's very important and the uh, total, it is uh, very massive. Uh, aging is associated with decreased uh, nitric oxide production, which can lead to stiffening of blood vessels, reduced capillary blood flow, increased blood, pr blood pressure, and uh, chronic hypoxia in impaired thermoregulations, potentially contributing to the cardiovascular diseases in the elderly. Uh, interventions that stimulate uh, nitric oxide production and improve cardiovascular health include cold exposure, caloric restriction, and exercise. Low carbohydrates diets, such as uh, uh, ketogenic diets, may also enhance uh, production nitric oxide by reducing blood glucose levels, potentially mimicking the effects of calorie restriction and promoting uh, longevity. So we have here that uh, uh, cells can produce uh, uh, energy in anaerobic glycolysis, so in, uh, in shortage of oxygen, but it also damaging mitochondria as mitochondria producing more reactive oxygen species. And uh, cancer cells and other malignant cells uh, produce uh, energy mostly by aerobic glycolysis. It means m even in presence of oxygen, they use this uh, not, effect not efficient way to produce energy. So cold exposure is uh, good for, uh, the, for the health and nitric oxide production. Also, uh, physical activity in, in old age, uh, it is very, very useful. And especially if you uh, dive in, uh, this is a Japanese ama uh, woman, and she is uh, a woman and she is diving up to 30 meters deep uh, in age of about 80 years old. So it's a good example of how uh, physical activity and also uh, the change in uh, the, this uh, hyperventilation and hypoxia can improve our health. Okay, mice uh, lacking this enzyme uh, and thus unable to produce nitric oxide exhibit impaired somogenesis and brown uh, deposit tissue function in response to cold exposure. Calorie restriction, uh, a dietary intervention extending a rodent, uh, rodent lifespan is linked to increased uh, production of nitric oxide modulated by, modulated by protein uh, sirtuin 1 in the production of another signaling molecule called CGMP. This stimulates mitochondrial bio biogenesis, oxygen consumption, improving oxygen consumption and uh, soma uh, genesis in mice. Uh, the study, uh, it's, uh, I will give a reference in another video, the study suggests that uh, nitric oxide played, uh, plays a crucial role in the beneficial ex uh, effects of calorie, caloric restriction on longevity in rodents, also I believe in humans. Additionally, low blood glucose level as seen in ketogenic diets can increase uh, nitric oxide production, it is actually mimicking uh, the, the calorie restriction. So we, if we are getting energy from fat, not from glucose, then it is, we are mimicking uh, ketogenic diet, we are mimicking a calorie restriction and we have uh, increased production of nitric oxide. Oxidative stress theory of agents suggests that the accumulation of reactive oxygen species in cells damages biomolecules and leads to cellular dysfunction and senescence. Rectin oxygen species inactivate uh, this uh, enzyme, uh, 
uh, this uh, and then uh, the uh, production of nitric oxide is dropping. Uh, so this uh, this reactive oxygen species they inhibit the production of nitric oxide. While antioxidant supplementation has yielded mixed results, some anti antioxidants can enhance nitric oxide production, possibly improving vascular health in the elderly. Uh, reactive oxygen species nitric oxide influence mitochondrial quality and quantity, regulating mitochondrial turnover through fission and fusion, and with aging uh, increased reactive oxygen uh, uh, species uh, concentration, oxidized lipids and the accumulation of uh, lipofuscin, or so-called H spots and polyunsaturated fatty acids, impair mitochondrial degradation and biogenesis. So in elderly people uh, have these uh, dark spots, which are H spots, which are actual accumulation of uh, lipofuscin in cells of the uh, of the skin. So it is an yeah, indication of this high reactive oxygen species production. Uh, nitric oxide has um, multiple beneficial effects on various body, body functions, including modulating a neural activity, blood viscosity, immune response, resp reproductive function, neuromuscular transmission, and angiogenesis. Uh, nitric oxide can stimulate mitochondrial biogenesis, energy metabolism, and somogenesis. It also lowers blood pressure by causing blood vessel dilation, and one source of nitric oxide is sunlight exposure. Sunlight exposure can improve overall health and prolong life independently of vitamin D production, with benefits overwhelming the risk of skin cancer. Uh, interesting that nasal breathing also increasing uh, levels of nitric oxide in our body. So you see, a nas nose breathing or na nasal breathing is very healthy and it, it, it improves uh, bone structure, improves health, while mouth breathing is damaging your health and especially kids suffer from this. Macrophages and lycocytes produce large amounts of nitric oxide along with superoxide radicals in order to kill invading pathogens in the body as well as to destroy malignant cells that form in the body itself. I'm talking about the senescent cells. It is believed that the cytotoxic effect of nitric oxide such as uh, peroxynitrite, uh, this is reaction, uh, is due to reaction of the of this superoxide uh, uh, with the formation of reactive nitrogen species. So it is nitric oxide can react with superoxide, and for uh, and then we have formation of reactive nitrogen species. An increase in amount of uh, reactive oxygen species, uh, reactive nitrogen species in the cell, can change uh, the action of uh, nitric oxide. From, uh, uh, from good to cytotoxic, so that it is actually, uh, so we, ha we have to be careful. The toxic, toxic effect of nitric oxide is manifested in the suppression of enzymes involved in, in DNA repro uh, replication. In addition, nitric oxide and peroxynitrite can directly damage DNA, which leads to cell death apoptosis. So it is a really uh, complicated uh, mechanism, so it's not easy. I cannot say that the increased production of nitric oxide is positive. It can be positive or not. So it has to be at least combined with synalytics and uh, some, some measures to reduce, uh, to kill uh, cancer cells. And this is uh, the, the most easy way. It is through the ketogenic diet and especially the version of the ketogenic diet, which is a carnivore diet, but with a lot of fat uh, to be used as source of energy. Okay, high, 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 carbo, high carbohydrate di diets are uh, increasing uh, uh, this reactive oxygen species, reactive nitrogen species levels, while ketogenic diets, especially with high protein uh, content uh, from animals, can provide uh, ample uh, l arginine for uh, uh, nitric oxide synth synthesis. In oncological uh, diseases, as I said, uh, nitric oxide can have contrary roles, both promoting uh, cancerous cell de degeneration in chronic tissue inflammation and supporting the growth of cancerous uh, tumors by increasing nutrient supply. So again, uh, it has to be combined. Uh, this uh, supplementation with L-arginine can increase blood flow to the brain and muscles and activate sirtuin one. And protein uh, that regulates aging, but it also can have side effects 
such as nausea, diarrhea, and abdominal pain, and it also uh, can increase uh, blood flow to, uh, to tumors. So it has to be uh, used uh, very cautiously and, it sh and uh, under medical supervision. supervision. And again, uh, if uh, people uh, have a uh, follow um, diet, a diet with high carbohydrate uh, uh, consumption, yeah, well, then it can be dangerous, uh, this uh, supplementation with allergenin. And so I would not recommend. And uh, even with a ketogenic diet, it can be okay, but uh, cautiously, it's not, not much, uh, maybe one, two gram of allergen in a day would be okay. So this uh, food, which uh, improves uh, the production of nitric oxide, and I love it, this is uh, mushrooms with eggs. I was following this diet and I was feeling very, very well, very healthy. Now I'm also fine, but I eat not so much mushrooms, uh, but this is probably, I would change in future. Now I eat maybe too much meat meat and I try to eat eggs, uh, maybe five eggs a day, uh, but cannot eat more because I eat too much uh, butter, butter, grass-fed uh, butter and uh, also meat. So thank you for watching this video. I, uh, this is my opinion, personal opinion on rejuvenation and radical lifespan extension. Please mind that I'm not talking about uh, some considerable uh, lifespan extension like 120 years. I my goal is a radical lifespan extension, and this is not easy, uh, or certainly not easy. Many factors are working, and uh, therefore my opinion is mostly in contradict to official recommendations, because again, nobody is uh, looking for a radical lifespan extension. It is my goal, and the other people just talking about extension to maybe 100 years or 120 years, which is Actually, it can work. Uh, I know that it can be it can be done, but uh, we can. My goal is is through them. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, learned something new. And I will uh, apply, uh, uh, pardon, uh, upload another video with more references uh, to the sources, so you can learn more. If you want to participate in the research, and uh, please to support my project, uh, uh, press the link and bell button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family. Uh, then it is again, it is, I am not getting any official support because again, this goal to radical, of radical lifespan extension is actually contradict all the, all the agenda of our civilization. Our civilization is um, collapsing, I believe. And people, instead of increase in extension lifespan, we have shorter lifespan, and uh, then it all contributes to this uh, tendency. So, um, but again, if you follow my recommendation, at least you can uh, do it, like to extend your health span, health span, uh, and you can live better, you can feel better, and it is again the the, the most precious values in our life is health. Health and uh, time. Time. If you have time to enjoy life and uh, not working too much, maybe, and uh, then uh, also you you are in good health. Why not? Life is absolutely fantastic, and I enjoy it uh, very much. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Ciao. Ciao.